Well, Matt, here we are in the entry area of the gallery, and one of the first things we see is the first robotics competition exhibit. Tell me about that. This is um, a competition that's international. It's actually been pretty exciting for me to work with as it's based in high school students from around the world. And FIRST actually stands for the Inspiration and Recognition of Science and Technology. And one of the things that we see happening is that uh, students going into hard sciences, technology, um, engineering has a steady decline over the past several um, years, probably the past decade. And, and so we've been contributing software and resources to this not-for-profit uh, organization. And uh, um, what you see here is one of the robots that was built by high school down in Palo Alto, Gun High School. This was not the winning entry, but it's actually a pr pretty exciting um, piece of engineering here. And so they're given a, a challenge, if you will. Uh, this case was to stack boxes. I think it was called Stack Attack. And um, uh, stack boxes as high as they can in a period of time. And um, we've got some pretty cool videos and, and several other examples of the 3D models that the schools uh, from around the world have built using... Um, Inventor and Max, primarily. So. I understand as well as providing software for these kids, Autodesk people join in and help out in some cases to be mentors or coaches. Is that correct? That is true. I, I know that um, Buzz Cross, who's the EVP of manufacturing, has been really involved in this. We met with the uh, Northwest chapter up at the opening of the CVC or the gallery up in Portland. And yeah, the, the organization has been really uh, grateful to the, to the support that his team has provided.